Hi, my name is Jennifer Thomas, and I am here with the beautiful and wonderful Bianca. Hello, everybody. Hello, Jenny. Hello. I'm glad that we are finally able to make yes. this happen. We are in beautiful San Diego, California, at Casey Cavanaugh's house. Yeah, amazing. And uh, we all know that she's a legend in the mixed wrestling world. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's such a great opportunity to finally be here and to be with you. Because I know you travel the world like crazy, beating people up. Yes, it's true. And um, I have some questions for you that your fans have asked. I'm ready to hear about these questions and to reply. Let's yes. See. And I just want to let you know these questions come from the male versus female dot org forum, which is a mixed wrestling site where you can find out all the latest news about all the great session ladies. Mm -hmm. So first question is, when did you start fighting and why? <laughs> allora, I started fighting since I was a kid uh, with my sister and with my cousins. But uh, wrestling fights, uh, actually six years ago. Six years ago. Why? Because uh, my soul, my spirit is a fighter soul. As, yeah, I'm a warrior since I was little. And uh, I'm glad that I finally went uh, go into this uh, world uh, because I like, I really do like fighting. How did you find out? How did you find out about sessions? I found out about sessions. Uh, I was in the Australia and I was watching Glow, the documentary, and uh, I said, oh my God, I love this. I would like to find something like this in Italy when I'll be back in Italy. And uh, I came back to my pole dancing classes and I heard a girl uh, speaking about uh, uh, wrestling videos and I said, I have to go there and ask him about because I never heard uh, and said, this is the destiny. And she told me the day after I did the interview and I started immediately. Yes. Wow. And I started to do sessions after uh, maybe six months uh, or maybe even less uh, when I started to, to, to fight. Uh, so with yeah. your first session, what did you think about it? Were you nervous at all? Because I was a little bit nervous for sure, uh, because I didn't know who was this man, uh, but I said, uh, let's do it, because I like to challenge myself, to put uh, sometimes too much, uh, but uh, I enjoyed and since then uh, I started to do a lot of sessions in Italy, then I went to London, France, uh, Belgium, but in Europe in general, and uh, I said uh, before my 35 years old, I want to go to America and uh, beat uh, all the men and girls that I find in my way. Haha, -ha, yeah. look it, yeah. and here you are now, yes. right? <laughs> well, that's, that's amazing. So did you find them easy or were you like surprised? Were you like, oh, I love doing this, like I just kicked his butt and I got paid to do it. Like, how did you feel? Like, I you, feel, uh, or were uh, they challenging for you? I feel, uh, for me, every every challenge is uh, is a, a fight with with myself uh, mm. first because uh, I am very competitive since I was little. I always did a lot of sports. My father put me to do a lot of sports since I was little, tennis mostly, and uh, my 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 goddess uh, was and she is still Serena Williams. Um, and then uh, uh, every fight that I'm doing, I'm kind of nervous, but mm -hmm. nervous in Italian way, agitate, agitated, I don't know. But then when I'm on the match, I said, okay, I'm going to do my best. And, uh, and, and you kick their butt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's awesome. Okay. Have you ever been attracted to a session guy? Yeah. Oh, you have, huh? Also to a session girl sometimes, Ooh. a wrestler, and yes, I found a, a sexy, now there is Andy there, I found her so sexy, mm -hmm. uh, but also uh, when a woman, when a session girl is very good, I kind of uh, respect her, and uh, yeah, I want, even if I lose, I want to face her again, because... Uh, She's better than me, okay, but I can learn from her and uh, 
I'm not afraid to lose if I have to lose, uh, if someone is better than me. And about but the who's question, better than you? Oh. But there is VP Lane. <sighs> Who is that? Who is that? Oh, look who's here. Oh my gosh, yeah, special it's guest. It's some old the man. legend, Bill Wick. Oh my God. It's amazing. Yeah. Bill. And it's Priyanka, isn't it? Perfect timing, yes. too. Nice to meet you. I don't, you. I don't check in. <laughs> hard as a rock. Nice to meet We're you. in the middle of doing an interview, but hey, like since you're here. Well, are you? Yeah. Have since you, you're here, have you can asked you just her take my questions? Spot? I asked her a few questions, but. Okay, I might have to repeat them because I'm curious about your interviews. And I want to get uh, into areas that you don't want to get into. Well, that's where I'll just let you take over and I'll just go and Are you going to come over here and cuddle with me yes. my own good? Let's do okay, it. Allora, can I, have, can I say something? I just saw in Netflix uh, Killer Sally. And I saw Bill there. And I'm here now in San Diego. And this morning... I said, oh my gosh, I saw, this is the destiny, I it's think. It's Bill Wick with the gray hair. I don't care, yes, with a lot of wisdom. Gray hair and wisdom. wisdom. Yes, in, in politics we say he's full of shit. Anyway, <laughs> this is my cane. Now here's what's happened. You don't know this. I injured this knee before you were born. I was in Special Forces. We did a parachute jump into Nicaragua. And I heard it coming down through the trees. It got hyperextended. So now I'm 80 years old, and the arthritis is sitting in. They're going to have to replace my knee. So I walk around like an old man. I can't even wrestle young girls anymore. I can get the holds on me, but man, I like that. Anyway, I want to ask a few questions. Yeah. If, if these aren't the right questions, you can always edit it out. But here's what you guys want to know. We know that we wrestle women, and there's a sexual element to it. There is. We get slightly turned on, or totally turned on. I don't know which, and I don't care. <laughs> totally. Which. Now, totally. what I want to know is, are these women wrestling us for money, or are they getting a little bit sexually excited, too, from time to time? You all want to know that, don't you? You want to know if you're good enough to turn this beautiful woman on, don't you? Well, I'll find out. So, what happens? Do you get a little bit excited sometimes, squeezing some guys? Of course. Uh, is this oh, is, I love uh, to hear that. Of course. That. Really? That's yeah, great. I like it. Uh, you know what I like mostly? When I fight uh, and uh, I overpower the man because I immediately, when I start to fight, I want to put the man in, in his position. And I want, to, I want that the man feel that uh, I, am in the, I am in control of the situation. But you know what? I like when I have to fight for having the control, uh, the situation. And I like to surprise, uh, like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, because they think, because I'm not so big, uh, because I like to be natural, uh, I like the fact that uh, I turn the table and they say, oh my God, she's strong, she's determined, because everything is from here. Sheila told me that uh, everything starts from the brain and it's true. When you are determined from the brain, the body follows the brain. And I get turned on when I dominate, and mostly when I see the man suffering. <laughs> Sorry about this. And it puts a big smile on your face, doesn't <laughs> yes. it? You sick bitch. <laughs> I know, and I like it. <laughs> we want six bitches, don't we? Yeah. Don't you guys like what she just said? It's honest, it's pure, it's warrior-like, and she wants to kick your ass. Yeah, it's true. She doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. Now, the main thing she has, as you know, is the goddamn the legs, legs uh, and butt. Yeah, and my butt. Before I of leave course. here, I'm going to have to get a courtesy squeeze just to see what it's like. But I have a feeling it's going to be breathtaking. Anyway, yeah. more of that. No. So, did you ask her how she got started? Okay, yeah. we got that out of the way. I, I'm going to guess it's within her, it's, there's a warrior in her. And, yeah, um, there is a warrior inside of her. She's not a sissy. Oh, here, help me carry my luggage. She, get, get away, I'll carry my own luggage. Yeah. She's a warrior. In the bedroom, she will dominate. You like that, don't you? She will dominate. You won't have a chance, and you won't even get a chance, come to think of it. But, you know, the best women I've met in my 80 years are ones that like to dominate in the bedroom. 
My wife, as some of you know, was Kay Baxter. She used to get a body scissor on me, a triangle scissor, and squeeze the bejesus out of me and then talk dirty to you. What's the matter? Can't you breathe? You better give up before I crush you. Oh, get, I'm getting excited. You know what'll happen if I get excited? Yes. Oh, I ain't quitting. Oh, you will quit. And it goes on and on, and I can't give you the thrilling climax. Use your own imagination. But a woman that has powerful legs and a nice muscle butt and a good smile yes. can mash you to powder. And if you have any brains at all, you listen to me. You get her lined up for a session and you wrestle her and give her all your money because she deserves it. I'm going to try to entice her to marry an 80 year old crippled guy. We'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, so based on what she said, we can suspect that a number of women get aroused by wrestling a real man. If you're fat and sloppy, it might not work. But if you're lean and you have ripples in your stomach like I used to have when I was her age, it might work. Yeah. Hard woman's gonna find, you know. Yeah. And especially a tiger woman. She is a tiger woman. She, she... Be careful. She'll <laughs> go after you. Yes. And uh, you'll learn Chasing. to like it. You'll learn to like it whether you like it or not. Yes. You'll learn to like it. So anyway, hon, now, um, these um, matches, you're winning most of them, I'm guessing, against God. Yeah. Wait, yeah. I gotta tell you guys something. In the beginning when it started, women were hesitant because they could not overpower men. And somebody's coming to the door, so we'll pause a second. And, um, okay, that's good enough. And what happens is they used to bring their boyfriends with them to make sure nothing happened. Nowadays, women are winning most of the time over the average guy. And we now need to, to, to take our boyfriend. We don't want our boyfriend looking when we do session, when we squeeze the shit out of the man, uh, when we dominate the man, right? Anything you say is right. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> is this going all right, Jennifer? Because we're <laughs> perfect. Totally, yes, it's perfect. We're totally ad living. So, in summation up to now, you have a beautiful woman it's got killer legs. You know how you like to be squeezed? She goes beyond that. She'll squeeze you with a smile and you think, well, that's about it. Then it gets a little tighter. Then it gets a little it's tighter. 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 And it's time tighter. for you to say the magic word. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes. That's, that's good. And then if you have to cover her, you say, well, you know, I'm having a bad day today. You try me tomorrow and it'll be all different. I'll be lying, of course. And how she does that, with these short legs, listen. The, Look, these long things. legs give you a leverage advantage. Her legs are short, but God Almighty, from what I've been seeing, she's a python yeah. and she loves it. I think it turns her on a little bit. Yes. Does, I think the squeezing turns you on more than the nomination. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to squeeze. Uh, yeah, I always squeeze. Yeah. I like to and squeeze. how long have you been squeezing? Since you were a little kid? Yeah, yeah. And you liked it then too? Was that an erotic feeling when you were young before you knew what sex was? I, when I was nine years old, I discovered it. Really? Yeah. Now tell me, you think back to the first boy you squeezed. Tell us about it. The first one. How did it happen? Where did it happen? If you can't remember, make some up. <laughs> I always, I always be a fighter since I was little. I always get uh, wait, wait. into like. Don't you just love that fucking accent? <laughs> I mean, that is great. <laughs> I mean, this is even my bad ear. And I, oh, I gotta tell you, you know what caused this bad ear? I think I've had so many thighs around me that are sweaty. Get this is, uh, <laughs> that when they pull the leg away, it pops, and I think that damaged this left ear. Oh my I god! I think so. I mean, this started, God. 50, 60 years ago, I've been wedging my head between women's legs for one way or reason or another. <laughs> this is this is, anyway. good. this is a good memory. But yes, I uh, my my I scissored my um, uh, scissors. Um, yeah, in a fight during a tennis uh, session class during a tennis class, my she tennis said, mate. Tennis, uh, tennis class. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, because I argued with this little guy and uh, we were in a fight uh, and 
I, I put my legs around his uh, stomach. stomach. Uh, yeah. And squeeze him. Did he cry? Did he cry? Yeah, for sure. You goddamn bully. <laughs> Can I, I was bully, yes. <laughs> I have to. I, I always fight it. In Italy, uh, I, I don't know, maybe it's my spirit, I don't know. I always fight it. Always, always, always. Did you fight girls? Girls, of course. You were guys. a troublemaker, weren't you? You yeah. were a troublemaker. You yeah. didn't take shit from anybody, did yeah. you? I never I, shut up my mouth. I can see the time. <laughs> yep. I don't know if we're allowed to say shit, but who gives a damn? I'm so old, what are they going to do? Put me in jail? They want nothing. <laughs> anyway. I love you. So, um, let's think. What else is good? All right, now let's talk about the first time you used that scissor hold in sex. I want to hear about that. Just tell us. Everybody does sex. You can't of course, tell them they don't know. So the first time you get these death things wrapped around the guy during sex, paint me a picture. What I, allora, I like, I have to tell, I like uh, a lot also oral sex. Yeah, I can tell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and when I came, the, when I, I, I don't know why it's instinctively, I put my legs and I squeeze a lot the head of... Uh, around his body. Or his body, head, head uh, neck, uh, whatever. So yes. you're saying when you have a climax, that's when you start squeezing. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And if they... Scream and grunt and holler. I, I squeeze even more. You That's what I mean. You like it even more. Yeah. My kind of girl. I'm looking <laughs> for her for 60 years. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, in my last days, I meet her. <laughs> oh. Pretty good. It's so, good. Anyway, um, I, I have got a question. this Italian lawyer for you. I told you about it. I have a question for her. What? Boxing. Boxing. You're known for wrestling, but what I about boxing. boxing? Have you ever? Yeah, I did have boxing. You, have you ever? Oh, you did boxing? Yeah. Okay. I started, I'm taking classes of boxing because I started in Italy to do some uh, uh, boxing uh, matches against girls. And then I did the mix as well. I did uh, already six or seven matches. Not a lot, but uh, I keep doing it. Yeah. Have you ever lost? In boxing? Mm -hmm. Against my boxing trainer, of course. He, he said to me, the first things that you have to learn is how to receive and how to react to a, of a punch. So he punched me in the here, how it's going, solar, the, plexus. solar plexus, and in the fagator, in the Kidney. liver. Kidneys. Kidney and the liver was, you go down, oh my God, it's in such a painful, but then you become stronger. Because you have yeah, to receive yeah, yeah. pain before. That boxing yeah. doesn't turn you on like wrestling, does it? Boxing does Yeah, it. I like more wrestling. Yeah, yeah. It's true. She may, she may never make it home to Italy. Have you, ever, have you ever humiliated a man in public? Yeah. Like yeah. Jennifer has? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Tell her what that. you did. Tell her what you did. What, hey, you guys listen to this. What happened, Jeff? I'm curious. This was in the hotel lobby of the, <laughs> what lobby? Beverly Hills? It was one of the Beverly Hills hotels. Now, she, she has a lot more, so I might repeat certain things so you don't miss it. Anyway, there's a guy in the lobby. I'll tell you the short of it because I know. I think he's drinking a little bit, and she, he says to her, well, what do you do? She's something like, "I well, I wrestle men. You wrestle men. You couldn't hurt me. <laughs> the perfect thing. And he's, she said, what do you do? She, well, I wrap my legs around your head and squeeze. And she's wearing a short skirt. They're in the lobby of a hotel. And you did it. Amazing. Did it right there. <laughs> made this guy whimper with a big smile on her face. Yeah, and all of course. his friends were watching. It was Everybody great. watching. I loved, I loved it. I did me too in a restaurant in Rome. Yeah. <laughs> what of happened course. with yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah a, stranger, a complete stranger. You didn't know who he was. No, I didn't this know. This guy was I, a stranger for her. Yeah, it was a stranger. Did I tell the story right? Did yeah, I tell you did it right? It. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now and, she's and, got a story. Go ahead. Yeah, but uh, and it was a stranger, and I was in the restaurant with other, uh, with another my colleagues and other friends, uh, and they challenged me to do it, uh, 
And I did it because I don't care where I am. If I want to do something, I'm doing. Were people clapping? Yes! <laughs> and the, and the, in Rome, the, the owner of the restaurant told me, come back, come back. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Yes. Um, Italian men and Bianca. Italian man and Bianca and her legs and her ass and her muscles and her tiger spirit, how do they react? And they react to that because in Italy most of the men are machistas. They, they think that they are better than women, but they cannot handle when a woman is stronger and physically and mentally than them and they run away because they cannot handle. And yeah, you, you, uh, only the best uh, uh, come to, to you and uh, so the, the loser run away and better when they run away, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah. What she doesn't know is when I first saw her on the internet, I started sending money to Italy to Italian oh, guys. Oh, really? What? <laughs> Big eyes, really? I said, wrestle Bianca and I'll send you more. Wrestle Bianca and I'll send you more. <laughs> I'm bullshitting ah. But anyway, but didn't happen much. But I got one guy that, that wants to have this dreaded figure four body scissor around his midsection, and I'm going to test her out later and see how it is, and I'm going to recommend that he, he sees her. He wants to see her bad. Well, Rich any man boy. that does not want to see her is a fool. Well, then, at least in the mixed wrestling world, I'd like to see her squeeze Donald Trump. <laughs> but thank you very much. Thank for you. My yes, it was a was a very yes. nice, uh, unexpected meeting. Mm -hmm. Really, thank you and thank you, Bianca. Bye -bye. Thank you yes. to all of you. Yes. Thank you, my fans, to support. Mm -hmm. Where yeah, where can they find you? Where are you traveling to next? I'm traveling to Los Angeles, then Las Vegas, then San Francisco, then I'm going to Italy, Germany in Cologne for FIBO, then I'll be back to America, I want to do another tour in other states that I've, I've never been, then I'll be back to Italy again, I will travel in, uh, in uh, and Europe. And moving in with me, I'll be sleeping <laughs> in the garage, and she'll be moving in with me. Um, one of the things came to mind, what, um, oh! While you're doing all this, where do you, where's home? Where, who are you living with? Uh, do you have an apartment in Italy? I have an apartment in Italy. But you're paying rent while you're traveling? I pay my rent, yes, because I'm renting this apartment. And I said I wanted to do this as much as I can because uh, I, when I love something, I do uh, as much as I can and I go deep inside of this uh, business because business hobby I don't know for me it's a hobby and uh, yeah. I want to do as much as I can uh, while you're young uh, one other question how did you learn English I watched the movies in English and uh, I interact with people and if I do mistake okay mm -hmm. I ask to people can you please tell me when I do mistake and I'm reading in English I love that accent mistake -a. Mistake. Mistake. It's the A on the end. In yes. some other words, that's good. Yeah. Um, anyway, I guess we're done with the interview now. And yes, I hope we have you, to go film. You guys go find her. She yes, in the uh, find her on session. Yes. Yes. And yeah. look at these muscles in these legs. Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> Do you want to try? Yeah. Later, later. later not, not necessarily. Scissor, come Guy. On. Great way to finish an interview. Let you me mean, put you, you in want her legs around in a, in a, in a, in a body scissor? My it fat little body, body. I, I want her to be careful of the body scissors around fat guy. Anyway, <laughs> don't fuck with me yet till I'm ready for some of my no. break. I'm 80 years old. Oh, that's... Okay, okay, we slip! You feel that? <laughs> that was a rib, I told you. See, it's that short rib. I don't know if women have it, but... But oh my it God. Push it against your... Yeah, it's fine. It's but fine. I heard it. That, that probably did this. Oh my God! I'm Carly. saucy. <laughs> You're not saucy. Look at her. Yeah, you know, what you guys did here is a click in here that vibrated her crotch housing group. That, yeah. That's my rib. Yeah. She can squeeze so damn. Uh, she probably squeezed me 20% pressure, and that was enough. I'd like to put my head in there, but 
I got to tell you guys, I've had a stroke and they put a catheter in my neck and the artery because it was clogged up. I don't know what's going to happen if I let a woman No, stroke. I'm going to spit all of you guys. Maybe I'll go directly to Scissor Heaven. Who knows? But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but anyway, um, I, uh, please do the right thing. You deserve this. You've got to wrestle this female. There's probably not more than five of them on the planet. I've been looking for these kind of women for 60 years. And all of a sudden, God sends her here, and I'm too old to do anything about it. It ain't right. It ain't right. I'm telling you, it ain't right. Anyway. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, my father. And thank you, Bill. Oh, God. Kiss. I haven't been kissed in 80 years. Oh.